It was a cold, wintry November afternoon. The clouds had rolled in. It was windy. But at least it wasn't raining anymore. What looks like a muddy pasture is actually a muddy pasture. But it's also the test track for Cornell's Baja Racing Team, participants in the global Baja SAE competition. It entails the creation, more or less from scratch, of an off-road racing buggy, and the team was kind enough to invite me out to try it. I was, of course, quite eager to get rolling, but we first started with a walk around the mile-plus course, up its jumps, all the while getting bits of information about how to drive. Uh, as long as you get the throttle right, yeah. you should just, like, nose back down and follow the curve. Okay. Usually, you want to be giving it, like, a little throttle right before you're going off, though. Bring the nose up a little bit. Yeah, and give it, like, just a little blip while you're in the air, like, right before you land. Okay. To, like, match that speed. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't want to be going full throttle, but you also want to be dead stop when you're landing. Okay. And also, like, obviously, if you're if you start, if, like, you're coming forward quite a bit, you just don't embrace because yeah. you might be able to go ahead. Yeah. Sure. yeah, absolutely. You no, know, do like you don't want to do it at any uh, condition. So like, hit the brakes as you're landing. Sure. sure. So you want to use some throttle going over jumps, but not too much throttle. And whatever you do, don't break. When it came to the puddles, at least they were in agreement. Floor it. As you can see, we don't exactly have great weather today for the test drive. The kids have been nice enough to invite me out, but uh, uh, it's actually better than it has been the past few days. It's been rainy, and so we've got a track that is, in a couple places, more or less like a mud bog. Uh, not exactly what I was expecting, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, but what they don't know is that uh, when I was uh, 18, I applied to four colleges, and uh, three of them accepted me. One of them didn't, and uh, you can probably guess which one that was. Cornell. So today uh, is a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm going to be racing against one of their drivers and uh, some pride for me to make up for that rejection uh, many years ago to see if I can come back and show them what the school missed out when they turned me down. And with foot to the floor, I was off, following Connor around for a few laps. They'd asked that I take it easy and not break the machine they'd all spent all year building, and it wasn't difficult to oblige. The 10 horsepower is not a lot, coming from a motor that wouldn't look out of place on a riding lawnmower. And while they did accelerate very quickly thanks to a short gearing, the cart nearly instantly topped out at about 20 miles an hour and would go no quicker. Sure, it was a little disappointing, but top speed is not what this is about. The thing tackled the terrain like no off-road vehicle or ATV I had been in before, blasting at steep inclines at top speed and launching itself off the other end. They never lost grip, even in the deepest of mud bogs, and powered right through puddle after puddle after puddle, and within a few laps I was drenched with cold, stagnant, nasty stuff. Hands numb and rivulets of murky water trickling into uncomfortable places. I pulled in. So I just got out of my first session in the cart and I am completely filthy. I am covered in mud, my helmet is soaked through in a number of places, and uh, I'm disgusting. Uh, a couple of the other team members are out now doing some laps while I warm up because it's uh, pretty cold out there and my hands went numb real quick. Uh, but man, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's not a lot of power, it's only about 10 horsepower more or less, uh, but uh, it's got tons of grip. It goes right up. Um, I'm not sure what the inclines are out there, but they're pretty steep, and it had no problem at all going through it. And of course, no problem going through the puddles, which is what got me soaked in nasty and filthy in the first place. So I'm going to warm up a little bit, and we've got a challenge set. We're going to do a little time trial and see if I can uh, regain some of my pride and beat some of these Cornell kids. We'll see. So back I went into the muddy, custom-molded, carbon fiber throne, wrestled with the four-point harness and wrist straps and set off again.
We each did three laps, one warm-up, and then two hot laps. This is the quicker of my two, so kick back and relax and enjoy, knowing that no matter how mucky it looks out there, none of it will get through your monitor. So I just got out, I did a three lap stint, one warm up and two hot laps. Apparently I did a 324 on the first lap and a 323 in the second. So I've got consistency, but am I quick? We'll find out. Alexander's going next, he's strapping in. That's the very cart that I just got out of. So that's even at least. The sun's fading, it's getting colder. So uh, we'll see how, how we do. Alex was of course quickly up to speed having driven hundreds and hundreds of laps around this course. Coming into this event, uh, the Cornell team was a little bit cocky about how badly they were going to beat me, but he did seem to be going slowly over some of the rougher sections. Maybe having a little bit too much invested in this machine to really flog it for all it was worth. Got a result? We do. We do. The winner by uh, four seconds is, in fact, Tim Stevens. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All done. Somebody Thank else clap. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great time. I want to thank the entire Cornell team, those who were here and those who weren't able to make it, for uh, letting me get uh, nearly as money as you did, man. And uh, we had a lot of fun. And. Uh, why don't we uh, walk off in the sunset together, shall we? Yep. <laughs> so there you have it. I may not be quite Cornell material when it came to academics, but uh, when it comes to speed, at least I've got something. So uh, I had a great time today here, and uh, I really need a shower, so I'm going to head home. Hope you enjoyed everything. <laughs>